I first travelled to East Africa in the mid-90s and completely fell in love with the natural world there. My name's Nick Brandt and I'm the photographer behind the new book called Inherit the Dust. I never imagined that the speed of environmental devastation and development would accelerate to the degree that it has over the last few years. I felt there was a new way to capture the devastation that I was seeing. I would take animals that I had photographed in the past and place them into these environments where the animals used to roam but no longer do. I see animals as sentient creatures not so different from us. And so when I photograph an animal, I'm really photographing them in exactly the same way I would photograph a human being. Animals just like these used to live on this exact spot. The elephant in this photograph was a beautiful 45-year-old bull called Little Male. He was striding across this unspoiled savanna, but now appears to be crossing this sea of garbage. This beautiful matriarch, her name was Kumquat, and she's there photographed with her daughters. The baby now appears to be cowering in the face of these trucks thundering by. Two weeks after that photograph was taken, Kumquat and two of her daughters were murdered by poachers. The lion looking out across the plains has something of a kind of Lion King quality, except what we now see is this devastated world of a quarry. The expression on the chimpanzee's face seemed to be one of lamenting the loss of the world that he once knew. I always wanted the people to be oblivious to the animals, like there were ghosts in the landscape. But in just one photograph, I wanted the humans to recognize and acknowledge those creatures. We have a natural, instinctual connection with nature that as we grow up, we often lose. Human beings are also victims of environmental devastation. <laughs>